I use Rooney when I actually know what needs to be done, but I'm not feeling like implementing it by myself. Rooney helped me to migrate an animation from SVG to Canvas. It saved me hours. I treat Juni like an intern, you know, so you have to guide it, onboard it. What took six, seven hours, what takes only minutes. It used to feel a lot more alive in here. It used to be quite more crowded, you know, before people started working remotely. It, it just felt much more alive. Mm. Stupid work-life balance. Hey, hey, Ramazan, Ramazan, hey, I can't believe you're here. Oh, let's do some collabs, let's do some stuff together. Uh, I just forgot my headphones. Well, okay, I've got a call, I've got a call now about Juni, but come join the call, okay? Just come join the call, come on. Okay, team, today we're gonna have a quick stand-up. Um, I will make it fun. So, say your name, your role, and what you most like about Juni. I'm Peter. I'm software engineer at the AI system team, and I use Juni to navigate the IntelliJ Monorepa. Finding functions used to take hours, but now it takes a few seconds. Before Juni, I had to ask the platform team. That's like finding one person in IKEA who knows where the Allen keys are. Oh, hmm. Oh, excellent. So, less human interaction. Excellent. Just progress, just progress. Okay, great. Yeah, in the assistant work, I can just ship Juni's code, but it helps me see how IntelliJ works under the hood. Juni can perform type checks, method lookups, and it can save lots of time. Oh, could you t make it tell jokes while it works? Where was I? So it's great for legacy code and new projects and quick prototypes. And, and jokes, and jokes. Uh, I'm Valentina, uh, I'm software developer uh, and, and manager, but uh, software developer. I use uh, Juni to understand the uh, part of the code base that I've uh, forgotten. So it's like, mm, it's like a friendly, friendly reminder. I've never forgotten. I, I forgot my wife's birthday once, but we don't really talk about that. I treat Juni like an intern, you know, so you have to guide it, onboard it. Um, You're saying we could fire it, like an intern? Uh, no, no, that, 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 that's not what I meant. So, yeah, back to Juni. I used it for replacing methods, adding system properties, and even, you know, even mocking a web UI from a screenshot. Yeah. I'm Alex, uh, front-end developer and web team, and Juni helped me to migrate an animation from SVG to Canvas. It saved me hours. Oh, Canvas. Canvas, like an artist. Um, I, I'm a bit of an artist myself. You know that, right? Right. Um, anyway, uh, some of the things it has really helped me with recently is uh, Gatsby image optimization, FFMP uh, command generation, and scaffolding new UI components. So it's like an autopilot. I'm still the captain. More like an annoying passenger. Hey, hey, Ramazan, Ramazan. Come here, come join us, come join us. I usually start with an ask mode, where I just discuss the task and see what kind of solutions the agent comes up with after analyzing the project. Once I'm happy with the approach, I switch to code mode and ask it to implement the agreed plan. I use Juni in two main scenarios. First one is when I actually know what needs to be done, but I'm not feeling like implementing it by myself. In that case, I just came up with a mini spec and give it to Juni while I'm working on another task. And it's actually pretty good with it. Second case, when I'm trying to work with a new technology with which I'm not very familiar with, I'm just asking Juni to implement the expected result and then ask it to explain it to me. That's how I learn. I still request code reviews from colleagues, but overall, it's massively accelerated my learning curve. What took six, seven hours, what takes only minutes. So you basically trained you need to be your intern, but without piece of Friday. Yeah. Genius, yeah. Genius. Sure. Okay, you've got one hour. Best use of Juni. You win this one. So today I need to implement provider for my inline completion. Uh, and I have no idea how to do this. 
I used to ask my colleagues in Slack for hours, but now I can just switch to Juni ask mode. In this case, I would ask something like, I have no idea how to implement provider. Please explain it to me. Here is a result. Yeah, it's a markdown file with a detailed explanation, as I asked, some minimum mental model explanation with some example that I can, I, I can just copy it and start with it. And now I can switch back to code mode and ask to implement it. Yeah, it's finished. Now we can try to to launch this code. Yeah, okay, for now I would just I would just return true from here from is enabled because I want to see my new provider in action, so I would just enable it by default and launch the application. Now let's try to type some code. We actually we can see it and we can see this demo inline completion provider here. So Juni correctly implement an incompletion provider without uh, any knowledge from my side. We have this page which is really not optimized and we can ask Juni to just optimize it and make it feels better even on slow devices. Yes, it's finished. And yeah. So. Uh, page is still loading slowly. But uh, we can ask Juni to fix it. Yeah, it finished. So let's run the build. <laughs> Just remove this image. <laughs> It helped in a way, <laughs> but not really. Okay, let's. Yeah, now it seems much better. We fixing today the bug with resizing for our onboarding tool. I prefer to delegate. The problem is that I have this beautiful onboarding tour with this uh, toad. And actually, I have two problems here that the toll doesn't does move when I resize the window. But also, like, if I go click next, it's, oh, here it's completely wrong with the positions. But anyway, it's just too big for the window size. So we will try to first uh, fix the size issue and then, then the, the position. Yeah, so one of the approaches that I like to ask Juni to actually describe me how it can be fixed, but okay, let's see. Tell me how it can be fixed. It's really become smaller. The position is still the problem. And if we click next, that we use. Yeah, so... Okay, so... Juni helped me a lot with resizing. You can see that like frog is now can be super small, super small. I still need to update the position, but for today, thanks to Juni to help me with resizing and to approach in this task that I didn't want to do. So, I mean, it's not magic, but it's way faster than Googling or asking someone from the platform team. It's basically an afterpilot, but you kind of need to know how to steer it. Once you have worked it out, it does a lot of boring work. It's like a smart colleague, just as with people, don't expect it to, to read your mind. It can also guide you when you're stuck. Well, I, I like to think I'm actually Juni for the team, um, but human, but human. So, good job team. Thank you all. Uh, I'm going to need a couple more like Juni case studies by the end of next week. Uh, but. Me and Ramazan, we've got a lot of things to do in this office. Uh, too bad you're all working from home, isn't it? Hey, Ramazan, we should start a band. Damn it, David.